Uh, so fork join. Uh, I like to think, you know, and I've talked to people about ArxJS, I kind of like to equate fork join to like promise.all, basically. So if you're used to promises and you're like, I want, I have a variable number of promises and I don't want the values from all of those until they've all been fulfilled, right? So this is kind of uh, the ArxJ or the observable version of promise.all is fork join. Um, so it uh, starts by, uh, it starts multiple observers at once. It joins all the final values from each observable when they complete. And so it's a data stream creation operator. Um, and this last, uh, this last bullet is kind of important. So uh, if any of the input observables never completes, so like an exception is thrown, you get a 500 response from your server, the fork join is never going to complete. So it's something you need to be aware of, right? So if one of them errors out, right, I need to know that I'm never going to get an observable out of this. Um, so just be cautious of that, and I think there's uh, some information on that. There's a retry operator. There is. <laughs> Seriously. No joke. Yep. So you can retry. Uh, there's a retry, and then... Retry until? Retry, retry when? I think. Or retry when, so that you can do like kind of right. some predicate around that. Uh, but you can basically say, uh, and then you can also delay that. And if you wanted to, you could write a custom operator that did an exponential delay. So think like uh, the use case would be like Gmail, right? I lose connectivity. Gmail's like start retrying in three seconds, retrying in 10 seconds, retrying in 30 seconds. So it's not just a static like retry every 10 seconds. Right? So I can actually exponentially grow that retry time if I want to. So if I'm trying to do some sort of robust, you know, making that a little more robust about checking for connectivity, yeah, you could do that. But we're not going to talk about that tonight. <laughs> Sorry. All right, cool. Uh, so fork train. Uh, I have an example of this. So heroes containers. Fork join. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm using it with a merge map. Uh, in this example here, uh, I'm getting uh, a hero. Uh, so uh, this out here is an observable of a hero object. Um, and then I'm going to get that hero. I'm going to send that into fork join. And then for all of the powers associated with a hero, I'm going to go out and do multiple observables. So this is going to hit my so if I have a hero with five powers, it's going to create five network requests to each one for each of that individual power. And then once all five of those have completed, I will then get back uh, an array of my, an observable of an array of hero objects. 